<laughs> I don't even know why I'm laughing. It's because it's weird because you're here next to me. Right. Serious. Okay. Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is another Mother's Day inspired tutorial. So I thought I'd bring in my mum. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello. Hello. Yes, so last year, those of you that follow my channel would have remembered my Mother's Day series and my mum crafted with me and we made the rocker card. It was the rocker card, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 And um, it was a good laugh and again, those of you that may know or don't know, my mum's a crafter as well. So it's really nice to be able to craft with someone that you love and it's my mum, so it's even better. Aww. Aww. So we have recently been to my grandmother's, so my mum's mum. And we were looking through cards and we found this beautiful card which says loving wishes on Mother's Day. And when you open it up, it's got this beautiful little pop out part. Now, this card is to my great, great, no, to my great granny yeah. from my nanny. So it's my mum's grandmother. Yeah. So we think this is... Wow. 50, 50, 60 years yeah, old, yeah. and um, judging by the way the card's been made and other cards as well, this was before my nan met my granddad because on other cards that we've seen that she's written, she's put from Evelyn, which is my nan, and then in the corner she puts, and your son-in-law, Len. So we know it's before that, and she met granddad when, 21? Yeah. Yeah, around that time. So anyway, we've, we've done the maths, and we, it's, yeah, it's between 50 and 60 years old. And it's just, it's beautiful. These cards are just so lovely. They've got a real like kind of, well, I mean, they're aged now, but it's like a creamy color, but it's embossed. And I just thought this is a Mother's Day card from, you know, way back then. Let's do a similar style today. So, brings us on nicely. This is the one that I've created. And there's the front, really pretty. This is using the first edition Mariposa. And then when you open it, you have this pop-up. So it's of a similar, concept so it's got that rectangle piece like this one has so you can see there but rather than obviously you can you know you can go in and cover it more if you want there this has all been done you know through a machine and it's all been cut around those you know that actual stamped image whereas I don't have that so I've gone and just done something different so we've got this frame you can see through the sides there so the profile is kind of that that's how it would be because it would be open I guess that person may want to display it open or have it closed. What do you think? I love it. Yeah, I like it open. Yeah? Yeah. So I we, we like think it, it should be open. Yeah, it would be definitely. like so. So I finished it with those lovely little acetate butterflies and these paper flowers which are from Dovecraft and they are these ones here and you will see them in more detail later on today when I share the what did I get video because these were recently purchased. So yeah, they're by Dovecraft and I got them from the range and they're really, really nice. So I've used the purple ones there. So we've rabbled on more than I usually do. Well, probably not actually, I do talk quite a bit, but anyway, I like to talk. So let's crack on. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the beginning and the scoring as a normal tutorial, but then you're gonna see me and mum decorate and do all the kind of nice fun stuff. Yeah. yeah. So mum's just kind of sat here watching me. So I've got a little template here, which doesn't look like much, but I know a lot of you do like it when I share the template. I've gone ahead and pulled out some of these yellow butterflies and there are the paper flowers in the yellow. Again, Dovecraft, same collection. I've also gone ahead and die cut a pretty butterfly. I've gone and die cut loads of leaves because I'm gonna be using these with those yellow flowers. And then I've got all my decoration here as well. So it's a five by seven card. So I've already gone ahead here and cut myself a piece of 10 by seven cardstock. And along the 10 inch side, you just want to score at five and fold in half. And that gives you your card base. Or you can use a pre-made card base. It's up to you. Then to decorate the front, I've got this white mat here, which is a piece of five and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then on top, this is a piece of five, um, four and a half by six and a half. So it's just dropping down there and you can see you get a nice frame, okay? That's just all the main case. Then for the actual kind of pop-up mechanism inside, which is this here. So this piece needs to be nine and three quarters by six and three quarters. And 
First of all, you want to score along the nine and three quarter side. You want to score at two and one eighth, and six and three eighths, and then you want to flip it over and score at three and five eighths because we're going to be um, folding and burnishing them in different directions. So if you flip the cardstock over, that would just stop any cracking. Okay, so then flip it back over again, and that's the the side you want to keep it on. All right. In fact, I'm going to turn mine around now because you want that thicker side. Is what is this panel here okay again if I just move this over a bit now like so so it's this panel so this is the orientation you want it in now all right um, so that's all the scoring so I'm just gonna get rid of that and then we can do some cutting and we need to mark a few little bits with a pencil and I'll grab my metal ruler okay so you should have these three score lines. So one here, one here, and one here. So this one, this one, and this one. What you want to do is come down on the first score line here, so you've got your largest area on the left, come down one inch and come up one inch and just mark with a pencil. So I'm just going to lie this down and again just one inch there and then come up one inch there, just lightly with a pencil and you can rub this out. Do you like watching this like free tutorial, yeah, like live? It's, it's You're really, right, right here next to yeah, me. It's really good, <laughs> really good. Okay, so we've basically just put a marker here and a marker here, there and there. Now we wanna do a marker here and a marker here. So it's on the far score line. So I'm just gonna turn it so it faces me. So you're working on the other end now. Again, come up one inch and again come in one inch there okay next what we want to do pop it back again in that orientation so you should have a pencil mark there 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 and there so that one that one that one and that one now we want to create these little markers here and basically all of this white bit and all this here is this here so it's this bit is this bit here all right, so this is what you're creating. We need to remove these areas. Now, once you know exactly what we're doing, you can, you may want to use die, um, actual dies for this. If you've got a rectangle or something that's, you know, the long, thin rectangles, then you can just put dies through these centre bits as long as they don't overlap that score line. And you need it to be at least three-eighths of an inch or more because that will then give, you need that to be of some kind of strength. I'm using 300 GSM Paper Mill Direct cardstock. If you've got, you know, 260 is what a lot of us use, even 240, you know, you want to make sure that that is no thinner than 3 eighths of an inch. Like I said, go bigger. You can even do 3 quarters if you want because you're adding stuff to it. So all it's going to do is mean that frame's wider. But if you're adding lots to it, then that's fine. But you can see there, mine's pretty strong um, because it's a strong cardstock. So see what you've got and then you can obviously decide. So what we're going to do now is to make this marker here... We're going to work from this score line here, so this middle one, so that's this one here. And you just want to come out by three eighths of an inch, which is what I'm doing. But if you want to do more because you think your cardstock's not very strong, then you know do so. So what I find easiest to do is if you line your ruler up from the two pencil marks that you've just done, so I'm just lining it up here, wherever your ruler sits in the middle, just count out um, three eighths of an inch. So one, two, three. So I'm just putting a little marker and then one, two, three, and a little marker there. Okay, so I've just done that. So I've literally just put my ruler in the middle, wherever it lies there. If you don't want to do it that way, line it up with just this pencil mark, and I can sit it at three-eighths there. No, that's three-eighths, there we go. You can see then, just mark with a the pencil there. Either way, whatever works best for you, you might want to come down one inch on this score line as well, and then come out by three-eighths of an inch. So again, come down, one inch, which is what that will be, and then come out three eighths of an inch. So there's many ways to do it, but I just find it easier just to lie your ruler right across, and whatever you know marker it sits in, in the middle here, just count out one, two, three, little pencil mark, one, two, three. Okay. Now we're going to join all of those markers up. So I'm going to join them again very lightly with your pencil, because you don't want to see this and you want to be able to rub it all out. Don't worry if they all go slightly over as long as they meet because that's where you're going to cut with your um, cutting knife or if you want you can use your trimmer. I prefer using a cutting knife because I think I've got a bit more control and I can actually see the score lines better. 
But if I bring that up now, you can see what I've created. So that's that first score line, second score line, third score line, and then you can see all those markers that I've just gone through with you. So now I've got this area here, which is this one, and then this area here, which is this one. And now we're going to remove it. So I've got my metal ruler, I've got my cutting knife. And what I find easiest first is cut right the way down the score line first in between the pencil marks. So I'm cutting from that marker down to that marker. Okay, don't cut up here or anything. You're cut, starting your cutting here. We're removing this middle bit. Everything else needs to stay joined. So pop your ruler down, really push down hard and always make sure you angle your knife into your ruler and then go right down and then go along to the other pencil line so now I'm doing this one so down to that one because while you've got it in this orientation you might as well just now if you're slightly over I would say with this one go over the pencil mark away from the score line because it just means that frame will be that little bit bigger but it's best to go larger than go any smaller so again like so and then this one here, I'm going to flip it around just so I can see the pencil marks. I want to come larger than smaller. Like so. And then the last one on that score line. If you want to remove the, the, the actual score line, you can do. Okay, then I'm going to pop it this way. And now remove this section here don't just feel like cutting right across because you're just going to ruin um, all your hard work so you're just going ignore your pencil lines it's the the actual um you know the crossing over of the pencil lines because you're going to rub that out and then i've just done that one there and then flip it around i can already see it starting to drop away and then it should if there's little bits where it doesn't, just go in and just don't cut any more. Just push down with the knife and it should just take it out. And if you've got any rough edges, don't worry because we're going to cover it all with flowers. So it's a really good card that if you've done it all and you think, oh gosh, I've, you know, I've gone over, I've gone into the card, don't worry about it because you're going to cover it and decorate it quite a lot. I mean, I've, I guess I've kept my decoration quite minimal for me. Usually I go a bit over the top. Okay, like so. so. It should all come away relatively easy. So again, if I flip that around now, you can see there's the template. We've got that. I will take a picture of this template and I'll pop it up on my blog as well. All right. Then I'm just going to remove any pencil marks. And like I said, if you think your corners are a little bit messy, we're just going to cover them up. <laughs> my kind of craft. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Mum has already gone ahead, she's done one earlier, so this is Mum's already. Now I'm going to stamp mine. You want to stamp and do all that kind of stuff before you fold and burnish it, so it's best to do it all while it's flat. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly stamp my little, where did I put it? Okay, so I'm just going to get this stamped here. Okay, so mum, you ready? Yep. Got okay. the same. So now we want to do a little bit of folding. <laughs> Let me just remember which way. Yeah, so pop it this way. You can come into frame now. You've got room. There we go. Yep. Side by side now. A little bit squashed. So you want to fold it up towards you. First score line. Then the middle one away from you. So be careful because this one's right yeah. on that little frame. Okay. okay. And then back towards you for the last mm -hmm. one. Lovely. And it should all fit together like that. Look at that. Okay. See? Perfect. Right, then you'll want your card base. So in my case I've got the yellow. What colour have you gone for, Mum? Mum's got pink. And then what we're gonna oh. do is this is gonna stick inside like so, because this is slightly shorter and you should have a quarter inch border on all of your four sides, okay? So I'm going to add double-sided tape to this side and this side here, and then we'll get it stuck down.
Okay, we're ready. If you saw me doing that, then I was, you know, Getting we were joking around. Mother. Yeah, she took a little bit longer, but it's fine. I'm patient. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm sorry. I'm just looking. I'm going to grab my poke tool. I'll give this to you in a second, Mum, because we didn't bring a spare. Have I not got a spare one here? I'm sure, oh, I have gosh, another one. All this I'm looking at, and you haven't got a spare. Have you got any tweezers? Mm, yeah, but they're not very good. Okay. Okay, so take off the first one. There you go, Mum, you do yours. You. I'll be pa I'll wait again. <laughs> You'll be waiting a long time. <laughs> I craft at my own leisure. <laughs> Don't like to be rushed. Nothing wrong with that. You took your time being born. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> go on, you can do it. I know. Don't. Pressure. Pressure. <laughs> it's like being back at school. <laughs> okay, Especially so right. make sure, if you haven't already decorated the front, then make sure it's the right way up. Right. Pop it on its side. Mm -hmm. Got your card base? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, right. Like that. Okay. Yeah. And you want to just hover it here. And you want to make sure you've got an uh, even border from the bottom and the sides. Yeah, are you happy with that? Yeah, yeah. You might want to bring it down a little bit just to make sure it hits the right. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. As long as you've got an equal border, because you'll see in a minute mm -hmm. what I mean. This fits perfectly yeah. within this yellow, or in your case, mm -hmm. the pink. So yeah. we just want to make sure it's going to fit yeah, in. And then that. what you should be able to do is just lie it completely flat, and you see you get oh yeah a nice border. Definitely. So just flip it over, remove the backing, and then right. okay. don't hold that facing you. Make sure this middle bit here is all flat, and then you should be able to just drop down the end piece with a nice frame. <sighs> <laughs> and now, if you bring it up, uh, oh, just make sure it. that obviously oh, folds in amazing. nicely. I like. You might want to just go and burnish when it's all flat like this. Just go over. You can <laughs> pop them up in a minute. But now you've got your pop up. Show yours, Mum. Yeah, there we go. Hey. Okay. <laughs> and now it's just the fun part of decorating. So I'm just going to show you the card again. So you can see what we're going to do. I am pretty much going to copy that. I'm just going to redo that again with all of this here. That's the front. I've got the butterfly and then I've got all of this here. Mum, what are you going to be using I'm to decorate go yours? All mixed up. Bring it in. Share with us. Let's Look, see. This is what Mum's you. using. <laughs> Mum does like to go a little bit out there. She goes a bit crazy <laughs> with her cards. Nothing matches. But then... This is all from Mum's. Is it like a glass jar yeah, of just is. all the odd bits? Yep. So she's going to throw them all together in yeah. this card. This is like a... So it's bits from other projects. I like, yeah. I know, I remember the card that this came from. Yeah. It's um, a wildflower yeah. garden, you know, where you just get all mixed up. Well, yeah. You know, some without leaves. So mums are pretty much all ready as well. She's only literally just got to glue them <laughs> and stick them down, um, which is fine. There we we don't mind that. Yeah. And, there's, and there's, that, there's an odd one. The odd leaves and like stuff. Like weed. So what I'm going to do, like I said, we're going to speed this up, but hopefully we're both <laughs> staying in frame. <laughs> No doubt we'll have a laugh. We're sweating because it's so warm in the room with the air conditioning. Um, it's the like being back at school on. with the teacher <laughs> hovering over you as well. Okay, so okay. yeah, enjoy and um, we'll be back when it's all done. Okay, so that is all of the inside done there. Mum, do you want to show yours? Yeah. Are you going to add some butterflies? Oh yeah, you're going to do some inside. If you just, there, there go. we go. Where's my mum's? Yep. 
So got some butterflies. She's going to fill the inside now and pop some more leaves on here and stuff so it kind of fills. You want it to kind yeah. of look like when you're looking in, mm -hmm. oh, you yes. can see there, like that. you kind of look down through this and you see these bits and then you see the butterflies yeah. inside there. I like that idea. And then on the side, yeah. And also when you fold it all flat, you want to make sure that nothing overhangs here. Because obviously it's five by seven and that's going to fit perfectly in your envelope. Also, I'm going to decorate the front now just by sticking down obviously those sizes I gave you earlier. But it's probably best to do that before you add all this bulk. I mean, it's still okay, but it will be easier. So, like I said, I gave the measurements for these earlier, but I'm now gonna stick that one on top and that one over the top there. And then I've got my sentiment there and I've got this butterfly, which is gonna go like so. I'm basically just copying that one there, all right. go and then I will put it will all be on you now um, the rush I'll put that there so that will cover up that little bit in the corner like that I think like that yeah okay do you want to use the foam is that or do you want to use the glue work glue no, the that. yeah, that's the one I just gave to you. Yeah, that's, that's got loads in. Oh, is that? Yeah, oh, it's twenty. Yes, yeah, only because you just had a new one. I just swapped it. No, I there thought you might go. want foam because it's quite raised. So it but it just... is quite a a thick flower anyway. So yeah, that covers up that little mark, little tip there when you make mistakes, like I always do. <laughs> 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 always make mistakes, me. Cover them up with diamantes. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Yeah. About the other way. I thought it looked quite nice with them what? coming, kind of coming, coming. Yeah. Kind of coming, coming down. I think. Yeah. Why not? Whoops. <laughs> Let's do it. There. Like I said, it's all homemade. Oh, I just get into this filming lark, you know. I'm a natural. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep that in. <laughs> And a butterfly. Yeah. Oh, do you want a blue one? Oh. What's wrong with a blue butterfly <laughs> in my wildflower garden? Mm. So we're going to use a paper printed one, which doesn't look any... <laughs> no, actually, I'm going to go for the green oh, one. Oh, no. But they're green flowers. But that's, just, that's just a different green. <laughs> it could be a rare one that's just flown over from, <laughs> from, from somewhere like... I don't know, the other side of the world. Oh, what have I taught you? When you're using acetate you or plastic, use... what have you got to use? <laughs> red tape. You've got to use red tape. <laughs> don't you know nothing? I don't. I do, but like I said, it's like being back at school with the teacher walking around the exam room watching over you. There we go. This is a rare butterfly. Okay. In That's... Julie's rare... <laughs> Wildflower garden. Yeah, it is. It's a wildflower garden. Somebody just got the seeds, scattered them all over the place. And just... And this is what this the is what result. Happened. This is the result. There we go. Look at that. A wild, rare butterfly. <laughs> Bring it up to the camera. There we go. Look at that. I'm impressed with that. Oh, look at all those wildflowers <laughs> and all those rare butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what they are. Nobody knows what they are. There's not even a red animal nice. there. I would say put a bit more leaf there. Leaf there? Yeah, you got any more? Um, I've got no more leaf sprigs. Have I got a spare thing is, Your sprig? leafs are different to no. mine. So what about? Oh, you know, I could pull some off of that flower, I suppose. Pull some off the back of this. Yeah, go on them. And then you can nestle them. Where do you want to nestle them, Samantha? No, I just think you've got a bit of white space on that, um, on this bit here. Okay. So you could maybe put that one under there. See, yeah. it kind of just fills that and then have that one like there. So it kind of comes in. Yeah. If you attach it to underneath that orange okay. petal, just kind of fills that space a little bit. You want it to look like this wild Judy's garden. Well, of course. <laughs> Oh, 
Happy? Oh, look, I'm very happy. Really happy with that. Okay, so these are our finished cards. So I'll just bring it up there. Mum, bring yours up. Oh, yeah, just come. There you go. <laughs> Mine's better though. <laughs> just get yours right in there, Julie. That's it. Look, look, everybody. That's mine. Keep it still. There we go. Oh, Just quick, we've only got 30 minutes left before my memory <laughs> card goes. Okay, so there's the card. Yeah, there's really, the card. really nice. And then you open it up and it reveals your pop out. But mine's better. <laughs> Julie's meadow of wildflowers and exotic butterflies that no one's ever seen before. Yeah, see, look, <laughs> may your day be filled with fun and laughter. And that's what I've had tonight. Have fun. you enjoyed this? Yeah, I have actually. It's been really, and really that's good. That's what fun. it's all about. I've had a really good laugh. So that's that one. And bring in that one again there yeah. so you can just see. I must the differences admit, they are gorgeous, actually. Pop-ups. Same colour. So, oh, there we go. You can see them all there. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope this has made you smile, brought a little bit of <laughs> joy. Me, yeah, yeah. I've had a good old giggle. Yeah. You yeah. can, um, I've kept in a few, well, I will be keeping in a few, uh, not outtakes, but just bits when we were, well, I, didn't, I was going to edit out, but I'm going to leave those bits no, in. I think it's quite, it's quite funny. But um, yeah, there you have it. So I hope you're enjoying this year's Mother's Day series so far. Are you enjoying it, Mum? I am enjoying it. What have you made so far? What, for my mum? No, from the week. You, what did you make I've today? I've made the bag, the big shoulder bag. I have made... Did you like that one? Oh, I love that one. Yeah, really nice. And if you want to see Mum's version of that bag... Nearly you, finished. Okay, if you head over to Mixed Up Crafters Facebook page, you will see it on there. Obviously, you've probably heard now she's called Julie. So, yeah, so <laughs> thanks for joining me tonight, Mum. That's all right, Samantha. It's been nice having Any you time. <laughs> and I hope you've enjoyed... I hope you've all enjoyed watching today. And I will be back again tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.